All right, everybody, I'm doing a quick car vlog. There won't be any editing. It's just going to be me talking because in about an hour and a half, as at the time of shooting this vlog, I'm going to be interviewing Dexter Taylor, a New York man who is being prosecuted for his arsenal of ghost guns. It's a wild case. It is the beginning of the government encroaching on all of the constitutional rights, which is sort of why the story that I'm going to talk about now is so important. If you don't know what's going on in Brazil, you might want to start paying attention because the poo-poo is starting to hit the fan in Brazil. Brazil, as relates to the conflict between Elon Musk and the Brazilian government under Lula and the Brazilian judiciary under De Moraes, De Moraes, I've mispronounced his name, but the Supreme Court of Brazil, which issued a ruling ordering Elon Musk and Twitter to take down, censor certain accounts that they have labeled as misinformation, disinformation, because they supported Bolsonaro and what the Brazilian government is now claiming was Brazil's January 6th. It's wild. But if you're not paying attention to what's going on in Brazil, What's going on in Canada? If it's not communism, it's pretty damn close. I put out a tweet earlier today and I'll read it for the benefit of everybody. But what we're witnessing right now is the government attempting to have full control over the population. It is no longer the government serving the people. Now we're getting into the world of the people serving the government. And that is communism, fascism, totalitarianism, whatever you want to call it. But it is government no longer serving the people, but the people serving the government. The government no longer being fearful of the people, but the people being fearful of the government. It's not good. Viva Fry at the Viva Fry. For people who think it's too hyperbolic to call it a, quote, communist, end quote, takeover. Call it whatever you want, but understand that it is happening. Canada looks to further enhance, quote, hate speech, end quote, laws. Wildly enhance punishment for online, quote, hate speech, end quote. Wildly enhance online censorship. Wildly enhance government control over access to information. Increased funding for state media. Look what is happening in Brazil. Similar increased funding of state media. Similar suppression of free speech. Similar government calls for censorship. Look at what the so-called, quote, progressive, end quote, left is doing in America. Coercing censorship censorship, weaponizing all aspects of the justice system to silence and suppress politically disfavored voices. The government is not your friend. It is not your parent. At best, it is a necessary evil that must be kept in check, not given unlimited power over all aspects of what we can eat, see, hear, and think. And what is happening in Brazil? I'm going to read from a CNN article because you won't catch the likes of CNN criticizing what's going on in Brazil, if only because they want to preserve the same narrative for silencing, suppressing, and criminalizing those who participated in the greatest disaster in America since 9-11, since Pearl Harbor, the January 6th insurrection. CNN, quote, we have reached the limit, end quote. Clash with Elon Musk prompts calls for social media controls in Brazil. Brazil's attorney general has called for social media platforms in the country to be regulated after Elon Musk threatened to disobey a court order banning certain accounts on X and lashed out against, quote, aggressive censorship, end quote. In a post on X Sunday, attorney general Jorge Messias wrote, quote, it is urgent to regulate social networks. We cannot live in a society in which billionaires domiciled abroad have control of social networks and put themselves in a position to violate the rule of law, failing to comply with our court orders, and threatening our authorities, end quote. We can't have free speech platforms not silencing our political dissidents. We can't have free speech platforms providing free access to information. We've got to protect the people from disinformation, and when you don't like someone, everything they say can be deemed to be disinformation. In a statement, Brazil's Supreme Court described Musk's defiance as a, quote, flagrant, end quote, obstruction of justice, and said he would be investigated by the police. Supreme Court Justice Alexander de Moraes announced Sunday that he would open an inquiry into the billionaire businessman who owns X. One might even say that Brazil has learned a few lessons from Joe Biden and his Department of Justice. If you don't like someone, if you don't like a business, go investigate them, go harass them, much like Leticia James is now doing in New York to the bond company that allowed Trump to post the bond. Much like Leticia James is doing in New York, going after all of Trump's businesses for alleged fraud when there's no victim and the banks are all happy. Whatever, we're not going to go over that. It would seem that Brazil has learned a little something from Joe Biden and his weaponization of the Department of Justice, the court systems. They've learned a little something because communism works. It's good for the government. It's just bad for the people. The standoff is the latest clash between authorities around the world and Musk, a self-declared, quote, free speech absolutist, end quote, who has relaxed X's content moderation policies and reinstated a number of previously blocked accounts after buying the company, formerly known as Twitter, in 2022. Orlando Silva, a Brazilian lawmaker aligned with the country's left-wing government, said he would propose a, quote, responsibilities regime for these digital platforms, end quote. Quote, we have reached the limit, end quote. He posted on X, adding that Musk had disrespected the judiciary. Hmm, legislation to regulate the internet, kind of like the Online Harms Act coming out of Canada so that Justin Trudeau can solidify his control over the internet, ensure that he suppresses disinformation and misinformation, and basically criminalizes speech, in some cases with the risk of life imprisonment. If you advocate or promote genocide on the interwebs, it's kind of like they took a page out of Justin Trudeau's playbook, because Justin Trudeau took a page out of the dictatorship of China's playbook. On Saturday, X's global government affairs team posted that it had been, quote, forced by court decisions 
decisions to block certain popular accounts in Brazil, end quote, and threatened with, quote, daily fines, end quote, for non-compliance. Quote, we do not know which posts are alleged to violate the law. We are prohibited from saying which court or judge issued the order or on what grounds, end quote, they wrote. They do not believe the orders are constitutional and will challenge them legally where possible, they added. The Washington Post operates under the maxim democracy dies in darkness. I am now thoroughly convinced that's not a fear, that's a wish. They don't think that that's a problem. They know that that's the strategy. And right now out of Brazil, as you've seen in Canada, as you've seen in the States, you have democracy dying in darkness because these court cases, instead of being public for the world to hear, are now being silenced. They are being suppressed with gag orders, publication bans. So nobody has any idea what's going on. You're just supposed to abide by these court orders, not discourse with the public, so that the public has no idea what's going on. They don't know why. They just know that their speech and access to freedom of speech is being thoroughly suppressed. And what was the rationale of the Supreme Court of Brazil? Digital militias, I kid you not, they are going with the same angle that Hakeem Jeffries and Joe Biden, extreme MAGA Republicans, demonize half the population, that being your political rivals. Call them all sorts of names. Call them militias. Go after silencing their accounts. Make sure they no longer have a voice in the future so that you can't lose to them in the future. That's what they're doing here. The Supreme Court had ordered that the accounts be blocked as part of its ongoing investigation into, quote, digital militias, end quote, which, among other things, is looking into the spread of misinformation and incitement of crime under the government of former far-right president Jair Bolsonaro. Social media platforms have been widely viewed as a catalyst for riots in Brazil, which took place on January 8th last year, when hundreds of protesters broke into federal government buildings in the capital, Brasilia, in scenes reminiscent of the January 6, 2021 insurrection in the United States. Can you believe this propagandist rag that is CNN still refers to January 6 as an insurrection? It's amazing. You're not going to get any opposition from them because they want to employ the exact same tactics that Brazil is employing in America to silence their political rivals. Musk suggested that Morales was behind the ban, writing Sunday on X that the judge had, quote, brazenly and repeatedly betrayed the Constitution and people of Brazil. He should resign or be impeached, end quote. And if you don't know who Morales is, he's like the most powerful person in Brazil on the Supreme Court because apparently in Brazil, the Supreme Court Court controls the country, not the government. Doesn't matter though because they're aligned anyhow. But Moraes is the villain in a movie. If the villain were dressing to look like a villain in the movie. In a separate post Sunday, he called the court's decision to block the accounts, quote, aggressive censorship, end quote, that, quote, appears to violate the law and will of the people of Brazil, end quote. He said X would defy the court's order and lift all restrictions. Quote, as a result, we will probably lose all revenue in Brazil and have to shut down our office there. But principles matter more than profit, end quote, he noted. There were other reports today saying that the employees of Twitter in Brazil risked getting arrested or imprisoned. And I have no doubt the government will do that. Because once you get to criminalize opposition, you get to jail the opposition. Once you get to criminalize the opposition, you get to criminalize as enablers anybody who doesn't do the bidding of the government to suppress the opposition. It is going downhill, and it is going downhill fast, and if you don't appreciate the patterns between Canada, Brazil, and America, you are bound to suffer the consequences of the devastation that will be wreaked if this actually trickles its way up from Brazil, down from Canada, and into America. And I appreciate it's a complex problem that is not as simple as my suggestion of pulling out of Brazil like Rumble did in France when France told Rumble to take off the platform RT News, and Rumble said, no, no, we will not do your censorship for you. If you don't want us to have RT on our platform, well, too bad we won't do business in France. Rumble made that decision. X needs to do something along the same lines because the revolution will not be started through compliance. The revolution will not be started either through violence because they're just going to use the violence as an excuse for more suppression. Pull out of Brazil and let the 200 plus million people of Brazil understand why they can't have nice things and it's because of communism. Pull out of Brazil, start the revolution. The revolution will not be televised. In this case, the revolution is going to be suppressed and silenced because that's what the government wants to happen, but Elon has the power. He doesn't just have the power of the platform, he has the power of the will of the people because people are fed up with this. Even the people who think that they like this are getting fed up with this as they should because this doesn't end with one group. This ends with the consolidation of power in the government and that is not what government is supposed to be. Government at best is supposed to be the necessary evil to remain as small as possible. The solution is not the government, the problem is the government and the government of Brazil right now is illustrating exactly why. Alright, I better go see what the kids are doing in the playground and I've got to get ready for my interview in a bit. If you like what I do, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Viva Fry on Rumble. V Viva Fry on Twitter. VivaBarnesLaw.Locals.com where we talk about this and other stuff. It's an awesome community. Everyone is above average. Sunday night is our awesome Sunday night law show. Six o'clock with Robert Barnes. More important than anything, get out there. Exercise, eat healthy, talk to people in real life. And now you know your vlog. Peace out, peeps. Booyah! Okay, I finally got a perfect angle of the bird that makes every call under the sun. Listen to this. It's a thing of magic.
Okay, that's one call. Changed it. I'm gonna change it again. There you go, new. No, 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 please stay, please stay. doing it. It just does it early in the morning. A cranky person would get upset by the sound of this. It's beautiful. Oh, no, 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 don't go. Don't go. A little more. Just a little more. Oh, 